What's going on everybody? <clears throat> my name is Greg and uh, this is my 1948 Farmall Cub made by International Harvester. Uh, I'm sure you guys all know that considering you're watching this video. This video probably didn't pop up randomly on your feed. You probably searched for it. So uh, story with this. Um, I have grown up in a village in Poland and I was around tractors when I was a little kid. My father has a tractor back home and uh, I've just always loved them. And I just got the tractor bug recently. It's like a childhood dream that just popped up all over again and I wanted one. So I'm originally into cars. Uh, I have a Miata there, full suspension, engine modifications, this and that. Limited slip differential, six speed transmission, and pretty much tuned up for the track, roll bar and all that stuff. Um, so I'm completed that car. It's just got its storage rims on it now, but I really wanted a tractor. I wanted something I could fix up a little bit, learn on. I'm pretty mechanically inclined. So uh, I figured something that was over 70 years old would be uh, not too hard to get a grasp of. Uh, so let's do a little walk around and I'll show you what uh, what's going on with it. So, uh, it was three hours each way to to go and get it, plus loading it up. So my father did me a huge favor by driving up with me. Uh, I'm actually in Hamilton, Ontario, and we had to drive to Huntsville. Uh, so we get there. It's running and driving. Uh, we borrowed a trailer. That was perfect. Didn't have to pay for the trailer. It was an awesome experience driving up with my dad. Bonding experience. Uh, it holds a special place in my heart. Uh, experiences such as those. So uh, it was running and driving. And I bring it home and I start it up and it's sputtering and right away I'm thinking carb problem. It starts leaking out the carb and whatever. So we, we loaded up the trailer, everything's fine, but then it started sputtering. So I know better than to do this, but it happened regardless. I ran it dry on fuel and I don't know if it sucked up some sort of sediment or something. Anyway, the, the carb ended up uh, being an issue and uh, I filled it up with gas. I tried to start it again. It ran for maybe a minute and then stalled out again. So I decided to clean the carb out. So I got the carb here. And I remember seeing a video where somebody mentioned that these carbs, it's two, two pieces. There's four screws. They get warped. If you see, it's kind of concave. It goes like, like a little bowl shape, this upper part. Uh, I tried straightening it out already, but um, I decided, you know what, the hell with it. So I ordered a new one. I got this guy. Supposedly the uh, OEM ones are like three or four hundred dollars. So I said, you know what, screw that. This is just a little project of mine. So uh, I went with this uh, Amazon special. All I had to do was swap over the this choke arm or whatever it's called lever. And uh, so I got that. I got uh, well. This is actually the line that came on the tractor, but I polished up the the line and the fittings and cleaned up the threads so I wouldn't have any problems. And uh, so far, I, I've only had this for four days and I'm learning. So I polished that, it was like old paint on it and uh, I polished the rad cap. Um, let's see, I drained out this uh, pan right here. It's uh, right here, I forget what the name of it is called, but it was dripping oil and uh, I just needed to clean it up. No more oil drips. I had that under there, but I cleaned that out. It's like years of sediment and uh, leaky oil and stuff. I mean, these things always leak, right? So I, uh, I, I just cleaned that out today. And uh, one of the big, bigger things that kind of annoys me is that there's overspray on the, on the tires there. So I actually took a wire wheel here. I tried all the other products, but nothing was working. So just a light, lightly go over with a wire wheel. I mean, the tires are really thick, so I'm not too concerned. Um, so my plans with the tractor are to install a carb, paint the manifold. I'm not sure if I want to remove the manifold. I'm a little bit scared that I'm going to have either broken bolt or uh, some problem with the gaskets. I mean, the gaskets are 20 bucks each times four, so I don't know if I want to take it off. The manifold is not uh, it's not leaking right now, so 
I don't know, I'm still on the fence about that, but I do want to paint the exhaust. It's actually got the exhaust that goes under the tractor, not through the hole, which is kind of nice because you don't get the smoke going in your face. Uh, so yeah, so my, my plans are to clean the overspray off the tires. Uh, I'm actually going to be doing the oil change. I got the oil. I'm going to be doing the transmission uh, oil change, get the uh, gear oil out of there, put fresh stuff in. I don't know when that was changed. Uh, so carburetor, a little bit of painting, uh, oil change, gear oil change, and then I'm going to focus on the sloppy shifter. Right now it's in gear, but uh, let me get it out of gear. See, it's not like coming back to the set position. The spring's not doing much, so something must be worn inside. So that's going to be the next thing that I'm going to focus on. Um, and then I'm going to uh, try to tighten up the, the bolt right here which supposedly if you have slack in the steering wheel, if you tighten up that, uh, there's like a crown in that, I believe it's called. Uh, again, forgive me, I'm, uh, I'm still learning. Uh, supposedly you can tighten it up so you uh, don't have as much slack in your uh, steering wheel. Again, this tractor is not for work. It's not for, you know, using it in the fields or anything. Uh, one guy said, oh, if you don't have hydraulics, I said, you know, th that's okay, because uh, I'm not going to be farming with it. This is uh, just a little project to learn on, and uh, you know what? So far, I've had it for four days, and I'm having a blast. So, uh, oh yeah, one last thing I want to get, possibly a seat pad. It's not that important, because it's actually a pretty comfortable seat, but I do want to or, uh, order a new grill. Uh, I believe Steiner has them for 100 bucks uh, American. Uh, I mean, the grill's there, but it's pretty beat up and ugly. So possibly even paint the grill red, I don't know. Silver looks okay, I guess. But yeah, all that overspray on the tires. And after all this stuff is finished that I just mentioned, I'm gonna be removing the rear wheels, separating the uh, the rim from the, the center part, whatever that's called. And I'm gonna be uh, sanding it down, painting it properly, because it's like a little bit pitted and just a really poor, as you can see, the overspray, a poor paint job. So I'll probably gonna redo the silver, and maybe just get that paint drip off the off the center. The centers are actually okay. I'm just gonna get the uh, the rims on both sides done. Uh, I believe they're original tires. I mean, they're not mint, but they're holding air and they're good enough for what I need them for. Uh, I was thinking of maybe cleaning off the paint off the muffler, having like a nice mild polish on the muffler, and then maybe paint the exhaust pipe to the manifold either black or do it all silver, or do this like a dark silver or gunmetal, and even get heat wrap. I think that would look really nice here. But yeah, if you guys have any comments or anything, let me know. Oh, one more thing, I forgot, actually two more things I forgot to mention. Uh, it did have headlights at one point, so I need to get those. I think they're gonna look nice right there on both sides. And another thing is, this tractor is actually only started by the battery. Uh, it does not have a generator. So at one point in its life, the generator was removed. Um, I'm not sure why. So I may do a 12 volt conversion. We'll see. I'm not really electric. I'm not a really that good with electrics, but I do have some friends who are better with that kind of stuff. So there's a bracket up there. Uh, yeah, right there. That's the bracket and that's the bolts that used to have the old generator on because right now it's still a six volt system uh, But wow, sorry guys. I'm filming with my other phone But yeah overall oh And the last last thing is I want to get a replacement steering wheel because this one uh, is covered in some sort of tape and if you touch it underneath it feels like uh, There's I don't know I don't know if it's plastic or something from the factory because it's got that uh, plastic grip with the metal frame. It looks like it's, I don't know, either broken away eventually over time or something and, and a battery box. So yeah, a lot, a lot of uh, small things to do. And uh, you know, over time it'll cost a little bit, but it'll be worth it, it'll be fun. All right guys, thanks for watching. And uh, if you have any comments or anything, uh, I'm open to discussion, any tips anything. It's a learning process for me, so yeah. All right, guys.